I'm, I'm doing well. <laughs> Thanks for being here. I'm yeah. just kind of watching you. Yeah, this is, uh, this is what it. I do uh, at home yeah. after the kids are asleep in a quiet part of the house. But yeah. So uh, we had some questions about... What does Quentin play? What is, uh, yeah, right. And we thought it would be a good idea just uh, maybe demo, not really demo because this is not for sale, um, yeah. but just demo, yeah, demo, I guess. Demonstrate oh. what my guitar sounds like. The one that I... When I'm offering my thoughts on the sounds of the guitars I play, mm -hmm. it's usually because I'm referencing this instrument. Right. Um, and, you know, it's it's subject to it the is. influence um, it's, of uh, the guitars we're playing at the time. But So just a little bit about the guitar. Yeah, let's uh, talk about so it. So this is a custom HD28, picked it up in, I think, 2003, 2004. Um, the custom features for this HD28, it's got an Adirondack top, okay. Indian rosewood back and sides. Full under the under the hood, it's a scalloped Ford shifted X bracing. Man, you sound like me. I know. This you're is like, the only guitar I know all this stuff about. Pretty soon you're going to just take over the whole no, thing you, here. You I don't, don't even need that. to be it's, here I'm, I'm, uh, yeah. I'm woefully boring yeah. by myself. <laughs> but anyway, it's uh, the, you might notice if you look at the edge of the, uh, the neck that the sound hole actually comes up above the edge and that's the la large sound hole variant that yeah. Martin has produced in a couple different settings the Clarence White version yeah. uh, there was a Tony Rice version I think for a little bit based on the Clarence right. White version yeah. um, and I think we I mentioned think the Tony Rice one was a different uh, brand but it was was it a different brand so. yeah, yeah that was a Santa Cruz yep. or something yep. right but, anyway, but the, same thing it was based on that yeah it was it's this and, notion of and, the large sound and hole. it was because he wore it out right? yeah, well, yeah he wore I think, out the sound hole well i think tony inherited clarence white's guitar and so okay. he became a, associated with the large sound hole as well gotcha. and people were like i want to sound like that guy i need a large sound hole gotcha yeah. i for whatever reason it, it, it now when you bought this guitar did you walk in the store and you're like you were a clarence white fan you needed the no, large sound no, hole, i didn't even know who, it, at the time i first the only bluegrass guitar player i mean i'd heard of tony rice i knew who doc watson was yeah uh, but the only bluegrass guitar player i ever really heard the name of was a guy named david greer who was a sick sick monster of mm -hmm. a guitar player but at the time i was playing like blues and you know, straight rock and, yeah. and, and hippie jam stuff. And I listened to Bluegrass because I thought, I mean, what a great idea to try and get a faster right hand pick speed. They play so fast, you know, yeah. those Bluegrass guys and up, down, yeah. up, down. So I wanted to get into that style, not because I wanted to be a Bluegrass player, but because I wanted to try and absorb the pick technique from that. I was never going to be a shredder uh, on electric yeah. or whatever, but you I You just wanted to fit that image that you had at that time and hopefully we can show that photo of you <laughs> again in that picture because um, no, that's you a, just needed to fit in somewhere and bluegrass was your answer it was kind of they hopefully said, we can show that photo uh, I'll, well, I'll pull it out for right. you yeah that yeah. was uh that was a long time ago <laughs> anyway yeah uh but a couple more features about this guitar i like the fact that you know it's completely unadorned uh neck right there's yeah. no markings I like uh it. the neck is it's hard to describe. We, I it thought is, it was a little bit wider. Uh, I thought it was uh, seven eighths, right. but we just measured it, and they said it's it's one and three quarter. We measured it, but if twice. to me it feels wider it as feel it wider. moves, uh, I feel like the spacing between the strings is yep. is more. Uh, but and, anyway, and it, it probably is. You can you can get them spaced a little bit more, mm -hmm. so it probably is. But this neck is definitely. Something it's different weird about and it. it's big and it's yeah. it's it's cool. I like Co it. Couple more things about the guitar I'd mention is that uh, you can see my condenser mic in the in the sound hole. This has a um, K and K. At the time they used to call it, I think, a Trinity or a Trinity Western Plus or something yeah. like that. But it's effectively um, sound plate pickups. Piezo pickups yep. stick into the bridge plate. Stick to, and then yeah. it comes with this condenser mic that also connects through the jack, which is a stereo jack. It has a left and right channel. And so you plug a stereo plug and pull that into the mixer, and then you get those two channels, and you can blend it yeah. into a single output. So and what that does, it gives you the mic pickup blend, so yeah. you get... The mic really helps it sound more like an acoustic guitar. Yeah. 
Yeah. Sometimes you hear those acoustic pickups and they sound like Telcasters because yeah. there's no uh, body to the guitar. Yeah. But a couple last points. <laughs> I haven't taken the best care of this guitar. I moved from the East Coast. Uh, bought it from the East Coast and brought it out to Montana. And yeah. so this two points that I want to share uh, through the many years of owning this guitar. Um, you'll hear it frequently from anybody that works on guitars. We have Marcus Engstrom, a local uh, brilliant genius guitar luthier and, and take, you know helps fix Im- uh, issues with guitars. Mm-hmm. This guitar, when I first brought it out, dried out so much that the, the, the top yep. sunk. And it created a real issue. I mean, I was getting a crack. And what happened is the relief of the neck will swoop down. And then because it was starting to fold down on the top Mm -hmm. here, it would swoop back up and then fold back down again. And so as the the bridge side kept sinking too, it was pulling it down. It was getting buzz through this area. So Marcus helped um, remedy that. Gave you a lecture. Oh, a long humidity. lecture. Yeah. Uh, and well deserved. Which lecture. you deserve. All you yeah. East Coasters come out here and you just don't get it. <laughs> it's a dry place. It's super dry. You got to do it. You got to give. You got to humidify your guitar. You got to water people. your guitar. Yeah. So I now I've seen the light. I keep a sound hole humidifier and and yep. one of the uh, like a sponge humidifier up in the yep. headstock area. The other thing um, that you learn when you're playing guitar, Mm -hmm. particularly acoustics, bluegrass, because you're out playing festivals or camping or whatever. Um, Apparently, DEET in the bug spray is not a good good uh, match for your guitar. Maybe uh, Dustin can get a close-up. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it's all worn. The finish is all worn out there. It's all worn out. It's just cracked. And uh, so that was from... Spray from bug no spray. shirt. Getting, you probably had no shirt on. You no, hippie I, out there. In oh the my woods. gosh! It was, but I'm sweating and like the bug sprays. Yeah. Flowing down onto the guitar. I have seen many of guitars ruined right there because of sweat and bug sweat spray and, and bug spray and all yeah. kinds of stuff. So, so if there's two bits of uh, helpful yeah. information I can offer from this my my years of owning a single guitar, yeah. humidify. Uh, be careful what types of shirt. sunscreens and, and bug sprays you might yes. apply if you're going to play outside. But okay. anyway, I, yeah. Cool. I, All right, well, uh, enjoyed. Uh, we'll, just, uh, we'll just get to the end here. We'll just let you do your thing and let people hear what this guitar sounds sure. like. And uh, thanks for everything. You bet. Appreciate you coming Pleasure. down Always and bringing bring your own in, uh, show and tell your own guitar. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Paul here at Music Villa. Quentin King, thank you for watching.